Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be looking at the Smarter iKettle 3.0, third generation. So guys, as you know, if you've watched some of my older videos, um, I'm really into my home automation at the moment. So um, I've purchased um, a new item, which I think will save a lot of time. And it's the Smarter iKettle 3.0 third generation. So yeah, um, I previously had the second generation um, and I'll go into more detail about that later on in the video. Um, but let's get the boring bit out of the way and uh, let's unbox it. So guys, on first impressions, I've found that it is actually the same as the second generation style-wise. It hasn't changed at all. Um, the only thing I know that's definitely changed is it's now works, it's compatible with um, Alexa um, and obviously like Google Home um, accessories and that. So that was my major reason of getting the third generation. Um, I had second generations pretty much from launch, um, so it getting quite uh, a bit What's the word? A bit tired. So the reason why I bought the third generation is mainly because of um, Alexa. That's the main reason why I bought the third generation. Um, and also my one is about three years old, my second generation. Um, and it needed to scale and everything like that. So that's why I bought this one. So let's talk about some information. Um, the actual tank itself is 1.8 litres. So it's actually quite a big tank as far as, it's quite a big kettle compared to other kettles out there. Um, obviously I know you can get 1.8 litres but it's, that's quite a good size so you can put quite a lot of water in there so which is which is good. Um, the next thing, the options available on this, uh, different modes they have are quite a few. So you have, um, <clears throat> you can set a timer, so uh, like a wake up, so in the morning if you wanted the kettle boiled at say like 5 o'clock in the morning, as soon as you get up you can have that turned on automatically. Um, and the same as if you was coming home, you can have that turned on as well. Shut up. There's also a mode um, of formula mode. Now that's for your baby milk. So basically what will happen is it will boil. You can set it to boil to a certain temperature. If it's still too hot, it will then go down to the required temperature, which I believe is 65, 65 degrees. So then you can add your formula and then add the cool water. So in itself, that's, that, that, that's another thing that you'd have to buy or you know, get the temperature right for your baby bowl. So that's quite a good feature that, that they have on there. Um, also, you, you get a smart app, so you can download the app and you can uh, use your phone as well as using Alexa to boil the kettle. Now this RRP's at $99.99. Um, I got it on offer at Amazon for $89.99. So um, I'll leave the um, link down below. Um, so check it out. Right, let's turn this on, link it up to the Wi-Fi. See how it does on, does on that. So let's look at the app. Let's get started and log in. I already have a count with them. So we're logged in. Let's add new network. Create your location network. So home. Add product. So smarter cattle for generation. So that one. Name your product by its location. Kitchen. Right, I must admit, that process of setting up was so much harder. Um, I had to actually key in my hub for my internet, for my Wi-Fi. Um, on the old, on the older generation, I didn't have to do that. You obviously select, like most other, anything else you connect, you select from a list and then you enter the password. So that process was really, really, really long. So I'm on the app, you can see that, and let's go to 
and yep, the lights come on and it has started. My only, so my only problem with obviously having the previous one is being stainless steel, it shows up the watermarks really, really bad. Um, it's for quite, you know, a snazzy kettle in the price range. Um, there is another option available. I think it's like a white, a white one that has some kind of wrap around it, um, and that's more expensive. That's about 130 pound. Um, so that's quite a bit of a jump up for a skin. Um, I believe before us for the second generation, it's that same again, is that you can get wraps off Amazon for it. There's a third party that you can actually put a wrap around it, to, so it's not just generic. And you've got a silver one, you can obviously have different colours in that. Um, on the older generation, the, the, once it was bald, you're getting that to say your kettle was bald. Which is also good, quite a good another point, is that you can actually set the temperature manually. So if you wanted to hear uh, for certain, obviously certain speciality teas, you don't have to get to 100 degrees. The maximum temperature is 100 degrees you can set it up. Obviously for speciality teas it's a lot more cooler than that. So you can actually change, you can actually change the, the temperature manually to whatever. Uh, it currently shows you as well what the temperature actually is at the moment when it's boiling. So like at the moment, so it's just gone to 43. Um, and obviously the target is 100. It's also got the option to show you how much water you can actually check to see how much water is also in it as well. Um, it gives you obviously if you've got a full full tank or a half tank. That just shows you've got a full kettle or a half kettle in there. Obviously you don't want to be boiling it if you've only got any water in there. So there we go. It's just boiled. And uh, it's come up on the app boiling. So as you can see guys, um, obviously got the appliance kitchen home. It's got up the top there currently. Um, and then the cells just that you want it to. Um, and you've got the start button there. If you click the side tab there, um, I know I spoke about some of these features, but let's have a look at some of them again. Um, so you've got wake up mode, set alarms to boil. Um, you also have home mode, create a boiling when you return home. Uh, formula mode, so again, which is good. Uh, replenishment, wow, delivered to your door. Um, notifications, you can also, so you can get notification when boiling's finished, keep them warm started and keep them warm finished and then cooling finished as well so that one's probably for obviously the formula milk right guys just down to the last bit of the video and the main reason why I bought this is to test out Alexa so Alexa turn on the kettle okay. and there we go instant which you can also do you can actually tell Alexa to Ale turn the kettle off And as you can see, it's just turned it off. You can also ask Alexa to also change the temperature. What you can also do is ask Alexa to change the temperature also. So Alexa, turn the kettle down to 70 degrees. The heat set to 17. Alexa, put the kettle on 80 degrees. The heat set to 80. And as you see, it is as simple as that. So that was the major selling part for me, is that it now integrated with Alexa. So guys, that's the end of the video. Um, thank you for watching this video. Please like or comment if you want to know anything more about the Smarter Kettle 3.0, third generation. Also, guys, really appreciate if you would subscribe to see more great videos. Thanks again. See you guys. Bye.